What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming bringing you another video today. And uh, the video and topic I wanted to bring up today is something that's been on my mind for a while. Actually at the time of pro producing this video and making this commentary, uh, Bungie for Destiny has actually made a change. And it's actually what I'm about to talk about, but still I'm going to make this topic anyways. And the topic at hand is skill-based matchmaking. And the reason why I wanted to show this video is basically to talk about the game that I first got started with. And uh, that game is Black Ops. This is the first uh, multiplayer game that I played on console for Call of Duty. Uh, I did play Call of Duty before, however it was on PC, it was the original Call of Duty. so. I have had experience playing Call of Duty before, but not even on console. So anyways, why I wanted to talk about skill-based uh, matchmaking is because it needs to be fixed or just completely removed out of the game. And uh, I'm going to get into that, but br briefly I just want to give you a rundown of uh, my experience with Call of Duty Black Ops, and why I think skill-based skill -based matchmaking should be taken out of the game completely. So when I first started playing this game, I sucked. I'm, I'm just going to bring it out there and say I, I really sucked. I mean, I'm not exactly MLG legit now, but I'm so much better than when I first started. And, you know, the reason why I got better is because, to be honest with you, because I got destroyed. Now, when I first started out the game, you know, I, I couldn't play, I used to run into walls, I couldn't aim, and I, I, I struggled. But, you know what, even in me struggling, I enjoyed playing the game. I had fun playing the game. It wasn't a matter of how well I did, even if I was going double wood negative every single game, I was at least having fun doing it. So, I struggled, uh, I will admit it, I played all the way through the first year of, of Black Ops and uh, I think I finished with like a KD when I, when I traded in the game at the time when Modern Warfare 3 came out, I think my KD was like .6 something, I mean it wasn't, it was, it was awful, but like I said I was having fun and to make a long story short, the reason why I got better playing the game was because these guys that, you know, were COD vets, guys that had been playing since COD 4 on console, I got my butt handed to me every single game that I played. I will admit that. I mean, you know, I was going 10 and 20, 10 and 25, 11 and 30, I mean, just getting absolutely destroyed every single game. And what motivated me to get better was the fact that I was playing people that were so much better than me and they were just destroying me every single game that I played. Now fast forward to skill based matchmaking and to me what the negative effect it does to playing with someone that, you know, playing against people with the same score maps. Now, the gist of skill based matchmaking is you play against people of your same rank, same stats per se. I'm not sure exactly what the algorithm is, but from what I think it is, is for the most part, that is people of the same score per minute as you around, or people of the same KD or the combination of the two. And I guess the, the idea is, is to. You know, have people be at the same skill level as you so you don't get destroyed and you're supposedly supposed to have a better game playing experience. But to me, it's a crutch. And the reason it's a crutch is because, I mean, let's face it, you're playing against the same people all the time with the same skill set and you suck, you're going to continue to suck because you're not going to really learn, you're not going to advance. The only way I got better is from, like I said, being destroyed every single game. I, I learned from watching other people play. Um, I started watching people like Sandy Ravage, 
Next Gen Tactics when they were still together, uh, watching XCal, learning what they were doing, learning their skills, learning their tactics, and just getting better. But if I played against people that sucked like me, I would never get any better because, you know, they suck, I suck. I'm just going to continue to suck along with them. But if I saw how better people played, it would, it would push me to get better, and that's what ended up happening for me. So, they need to get rid of the skill-based matchmaking and just make it more of random when I play people. Uh, I play Destiny as well that has skill-based matchmaking in it. Uh, they've recently tweaked the, the matchmaking. I haven't tried it out as of yet. I've, I heard they've relaxed it. But, I mean, on the flip side of you know playing against people that suck and it being bad, you also have on the flip side people who are good playing against people who are good all the time. And to me, I hate that as well. Because, I mean, I enjoy the competition. I like playing against people that are good. Keep up the pressure. You know, I enjoy there. doing that from time to time just to keep my skills up and to, you know, have a challenge. But who wants to play against the same people of the same likeness of skill every single time as well? It gets boring. Just like, I, I wouldn't want to play against people who sucked all the time and I'm good, because that would get boring to me too. So, I mean, they just need to get rid of, either tone it down, or just get rid of the skill-based matchmaking altogether. I mean, and just make it where, is it even playing field for everybody? Whether you're good, or whether you're bad. If you're good, you know, you may have an easy game one game, you might play against someone who's better than you. I mean, that's just how life goes. Life is about competition. Whether it's gaming, whether it's finding a job, whether it's finding a spouse. Everything is a competition and no one's going to be holding your hand. That's how it's done. I mean, nice you just have to per persevere and do well on your own. So anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Like and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Peace.